Hi, welcome to my Hasta and Lily Garden channel. My name is Nancy and today I will be planting some shade perennials like hookahs, Japanese grass, and uh, some brunera because I want to add some color to this side of the house. Um, this is the path uh, on the north side of my house. And as you can see here, I have some hostas, I have a snowberry. So I'm going to try to remove some of the hostas there and replace it with the Japanese grass. There's going to still be, there's another hosta there. And I'm going to take some uh, lamium that is in front of it and put some uh, hookara there. So we'll add some color there. Next, we'll go to the other side of the pass. Here is the, I'm going to be uh, placing an astilbe. This uh, burgundy astilbe, but I have to remove the geranium that is by the um, lily. So I will put the astilbe there and move the geranium in the front. So that's what I'm going to do on this side. So let's get started. So now in here, I'm just going to present you what plants I'm putting here. So the Japanese will go there and then the Brunera, sorry, the hooker in front of it. And in this side, we'll have the Brunera in front of the Hasta and the hooker on the other side. But of course, I have to remove the Lamian. So this is what I'm going to do. And first, I have to remove the Hasta. And you guys, this is my least favorite part of, of planting is because I have to deal with rocks on this side of the house. I have to remove the rocks and then there's some fabric underneath that I have to remove. Yeah, I don't like this part. Now I will proceed to add this uh, Japanese forest grass or Hakonekloa Makra. Next, I'm going to add some starter fertilizer. Now I'm adding some compost around the plant. Next, we'll work on the other side of the path where I'm going to plant this astilbe. But first, I'm going to have to remove the geranium that I have here. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Next, 
next I'm gonna dig a hole here so I can plant the geranium that I just moved. Next, I'm going to add the compost and proceed to plant the geranium. Next, I'm going to plant the uh, still be, but I first need to dig the hole. Then I will add some compost. So I decided to continue the planting the next day. So today I will be planting the hookeras and the brunera. You just see here I'm using my pruners to cut the fabric. To be honest, I was just a little lazy to get my box cutter.
finally all finished. Let me just show you how it looks right now, okay? So here we have the Japanese grass, the hookara in front of it, and then the hasta. And over here, we have the hasta in the back, the brunera, and the other hookara. Isn't that pretty? Look at all. And then we'll go to the other side and we have the still be in the geranium. I love it. I love this combination here. So next now I'm gonna show you or tell you about the, the names of the plants. So here's the geranium, the perennial geranium called Max Frey. It could be a bloody crannis bill. Show you the tag here, sun to parse par sun. And it grows um, six to nine inches high. Uh, next is the astilbe. This one is called dark side of the moon. Look at those leaves. And let me show you the height. I can, my goodness, okay, let's see. It is 20 to 22 inches high. So now let's go to the other side to check out the Japanese grass. Or Hakone Gloa Makra. That's the name of it. I'm having a hard time saying it. So, Golden Japanese Forest Grass. Hakone Gloa Makra Aureola. This is beautiful. And it grows 14 to 18 inches high by 16 to 20 inches wide. And the uh, Hukra. This one is called Obsidian. Coral bell, I guess, and it grows. Check it out. Come on. Um, it says 24 inches high, but it's usually with the uh, blooms. Hookahs usually grow 12 inches high, so this one is 24 inches with the flowers. Otherwise, I wouldn't have put it in front. Um, next. Our beautiful Brunera. I love the Bruneras. This one is called, I think it's the Jack of Diamonds. Yep, Jack of Diamonds. And this one grows to, let's see, um, 14 to 16 inches high. So. And the hookara here, this one it grows a little bigger, I think. Uh, and this one is, I think, the palace. Yep. Oh, palace purple. And this one grows to 18 to 24 inches high, also with the flowers. And that's all. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.